what would you say if a student going for an accounting exam forgets to carry their calculator or somebody who's living in india mumbai to be more specific let's say during the month of august and september when it's absolutely cloudy they are going out for an entire day but they forget to carry their umbrella with them or you are planning a beach vacation you've packed your bag you've taken everything but the one thing that you forgot to take is your swimsuit now what would you call all of these things these are common mistakes now they are very common they are very easy to happen and they are also very easy to avoid the reason i am talking about such common mistakes is because there are some simple common mistakes that people are doing even when they are trying to practice law of attraction or manifestation in their life which i'm going to talk to you about today in this episode i'm going to talk to you about five common mistakes that people are doing that is harming the entire manifestation process hello welcome this is manifest with paycheck to profit i am manish ahuja founder of paycheck to profit a community for working professionals entrepreneurs agency owners homemakers freelancers everybody who's trying to build a new relationship with money people who are trying to understand how they can clear their money mindset build a new money mindset understand the concept of money blocks and how to eliminate these money blocks something that nobody is talking about and how to use law of attraction to manifest more wealth into their life that's the purpose of this podcast also get financially literate get financially responsible take control of their investments and get financial freedom now if that's something make sure that you're connected to paycheck to profit but let's talk about the first most common mistake people make people set goals now goal setting is a very important part of law of attraction and people take this very seriously and they set goals but they set goals that they don't believe in you are somebody who's let's say a management trainee in your business, in your organization and the goal that you set is that you want to become a ceo of course that's a goal that i want everybody to have but how are you going to achieve it do you even believe you're capable of being a ceo you're probably a 21 22 23 year old and you are looking at a jump in your career that is probably going to happen 10 years 15 years down the line what you really need to do is you need to have goals that make sense you are a business owner today you have three recurring clients and you're looking to create an agency with 300 recurring clients not possible you're a coach who has 10 people in their community and you're writing goals where you are building a community of hundreds and thousands of people how is that going to happen I want people to set very big audacious goals but I also want people to understand that the reason why this is a common mistake is goals are important but what is all the more important is your mission what is your next step you are a management trainee you have to be the best employee of the month you are somebody who is running three recurring client agency focus on making it five recurring clients if you are a coach with a community of 10 people focus on building a community of 50 people 100 people make mission oriented goals and also have a focus on your end goal what is the biggest vision point of your entire existence of your entire job of your entire career of your entire business these are two different things do not con- confuse between your mission and your goal your missions are just as important as your goals your goals are supremely important but you can't keep focusing only on the goal you also have to focus on your mission the second thing that people do is that they try to manifest something they've decided that they ma- they want to manifest a particular desire and then they get obsessed over it now this is an absolute no no what i really want you to do is i want you to understand what you want to manifest and then let it go when you don't let it go when you hold on to something too tight you are focusing on lack of that particular thing in your life you're focusing on scarcity in your life when you believe in abundance when you have faith in the universe you try to manifest something you decide that you want to manifest something and you let it go and let the universe do its job for your reference i'm going to link a link to my past episode where i have spoken about how not to get obsessed it's a very beautiful episode i have spoken about this topic in depth so do not forget to check that episode if you've not listened to it already or if you've not seen it but learn to let go the moment you start doing when you start deciding a goal for yourself in the whole process of manifestation third a very common mistake which is plaguing the society today and i want ma- maximum people to get to know about this is 
not focusing enough on your own self love now how is this connected to manifestation how is this connected to not manifesting wealth into your life it's very simple manifestation is all about a better life a better life is not going to be possible without a better version of you so now do you understand for you to have a better life for you to have a better manifestation come true you have to improve yourself how do you improve yourself if you don't love yourself you have to look at your self love your self worth your self confidence you have to keep improving you have to keep working on your own mindset your own emotional uh, well being do everything in your capacity to feel 1% better every day about your own personality your well being your existence your life that you are living if you have any question with regards to this do all the research possible reach out to me on social media ask me your questions i'll be more than happy to answer them if for all you know i could probably create more episodes on this topic and help as many people as possible but you are not going to be able to manifest if you don't focus on your self love self love is the key to all manifestations the fourth thing the fourth most common mistake that i see people doing is intermittent belief in the entire system of law of attraction or intermittent practice they'll journal one day and they'll they'll forget about journaling for 6 days in a row they'll write their goals for one day and they'll not write goals for what 3 months in a 3 months at a stretch that is not how things work if you're serious about your manifestation you have to give time to the whole process of self love self growth your journaling your affirmations your vision oriented goal based thinking everything is just as important as your work that you put in or the life that you are living or the kind of things that you are trying to manifest and the life that you already you have already manifested if even if that means dealing with the problems that you are going through all of it falls in place and all of it deserves that amount of importance i want people to have a law of attraction practice which is just as routine as brushing their teeth and taking a bath when do you not brush your teeth when do you not take a bath only on the worst possible days when you're probably so sick that you can't even get out of the bed now if that's how weak you are feeling on a particular day try to avoid your law of attraction practice only on those days now this is very important i just had to bring it up because this is one common mistake that could probably be costing you your manifestation so be very careful about this the fifth thing that people are doing which is causing you know you could do all the four things and you could tell me manish i'm doing all of those four things that you've told me as common mistakes i'm not doing any of those i am setting goals and i also have my focus on my missions i am letting go of everything because i have full faith in law of attraction i know my career growth is going to come sooner than later i know my uh, business is going to grow at a beautiful pace i am focusing on myself love i am practicing things consistently but if you don't do this fifth point if you don't adhere to this correctly everything is going to go wrong and before i tell you about it let me also tell you about profit clan a email community that i've created for all the uh, members of paycheck to profit go to the description of this video and you'll see a link to join profit clan i'll read it out for you very quickly it's p a y c h e c k t o p r o f i t dot com slash p r o f i t c l a n i'll do that again very quickly for you p a y c h e c k t o p r o f i t dot com slash p r o f i t c l a n join the profit clan that's where that's my email community where i talk to you about the new episodes that have come out new videos that i'm creating new reels that have gone really viral and a lot of value emails that i'm sending only to my email community on profit clan so make sure that you are a part of the profit clan you can also choose to get updates on whatsapp you'll find all the details in the description below please check that out the fifth point which is the most important which people are doing very commonly which i want you to st- stop doing right now if you're doing this is stop comparing yourself to others stop comparing your salary to someone else stop comparing you to your career to someone else stop comparing your goals to somebody else's goals stop comparing somebody else's achievements to your achievements or lack thereof stop comparing the kind of vacations that people are taking stop comparing the kind of profits that people are making stop trying to compare the kind of cars that other people are driving stop trying to compare the kind of clothes the kind of houses that they are living in the kind of shopping that they are doing stop comparing you are listening to this podcast you're watching this video 
you are having access to internet you are having access to understanding of this language you have access to so much pure knowledge coming your way show gratitude for what you have there are so many people whose ultimate goal is the life that you're living already and all the people that you're comparing yourself to i can promise you they have their own challenges so stop comparing if you were to get life of any of these people that you are comparing yourself with only when you when you enter their shoes you will realize that they are also probably going through just as many number of challenges as you if not more they just have a different challenge their challenges look a little different i'm not trying to minimize your challenges i'm not trying to say that your challenges are not bad i'm just trying to tell you everybody is going through their journey so stop comparing your journey to somebody else's just focus on your journey focus on what goals you are achieving focus on what you want to make true in your life and you have everything that you need to keep progressing i hope you've gotten some perspective on things that you can change in your life to manifest better manifest faster and manifest everything that you desire thank you so much for giving me your time if you've gotten value from this episode make sure that you take a screenshot of this episode and share this episode on your social media instagram linkedin and twitter being my favorite choices do not forget to tag petu pro and mr emojical on your stories so that i can share your story with the world and more importantly more and more people can get introduced to the concept of law of attraction manifest with paycheck to profit and you can help somebody to stop making the mistakes that i have mentioned in this particular episode and enable them to manifest their wealth in their life you have no idea one share can actually help change somebody else's life so please do that if you found this episode valuable please do me a favor and give this episode a five star review or this podcast a five star review on the app that you're listening to this episode on if you are watching this on youtube give this video a like that's the only way the application will know that this this time that you've spent with this episode is worth it and it will show this episode or it will display this episode to more and more people please do that so that more and more people can get introduced to law of attraction manifest with paycheck to profit and help me help other people change and improve other people's life thank you so much for giving me your time thank you for listening or watching this episode till the end i'll now see you in the next episode of manifest with paycheck to profit which comes out every monday 6 am ist thank you so much for everything keep going keep growing